The authority has held consultative meetings with operators who are with us here today, and we've agreed on a number of actions that will be taken to facilitate compliance without disrupting duly registered subscribers. The first action point we agreed on was that all operators shall provide a self-verification USSD code and online platform with standardized menus and messages. The USSD code, that is star 106 hash, shall be used by all operators for verification. This means that subscribers do not have to physically present themselves at the operator's customer service centers unless it is necessary. We also agreed to focus on minimum requirements. The regulations do not require subscribers to submit photos of themselves during registration of ver or the verification exercise. However, records of subscribers must include identification documents such as national IDs, service cards for discipline forces, passports, and birth, certificate, uh, birth certification, whichever is applicable. Of course, we've indicated that we must insist that this is not fresh registration, but validation. We have agreed that this is not registration or, fresh ex uh, or a fresh registration exercise. A fresh registration exercise presumes declaring the existing registration null and void. This is not the case. It's an opportunity for operators and their customers to validate respective details of registration. The exercise will address the documentation gaps that have become commonplace, as already indicated earlier. Our aim is to ensure 100% compliance. Thank you, DG, and uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Nicholas Mulila. Uh, I'm the Chief of Risk Management and Security at Safaricom. Uh, happy to be here. I just want to take two questions, uh, the one around photos and the other one uh, on whether this exercise is free. So in terms of photos, uh, at Safaricom we've been taking photos, and um, the reason has been basically to enhance the security of the resources and, um, and uh, data of our customers. What we've seen in the past is that there's been been uh, quite a number of instances of impersonation and uh, basically impersonal fraud driven by stolen identity and we thought it's a good way uh, to m continue to make our customers uh, safe uh, and secure and their data private and that is what uh, informed that and um, of course it's part of some of those uh, controls that we want to continue uh, to implement to just ensure that your resources are safe, your identity is safe and at all times uh, whenever you interact with any of our services then you are safe. So um, uh, it was a good innovation uh, from our end and uh, it's something that, you know, probably um, we thought um, would, would make our customers much more safer than they are today. Uh, the second element is on um, the exercise itself. I want to say it is free, free in capital letters, and we do have uh, over 200,000 uh, MPESA agents where you can actually, you know, uh, verify the reg registration. Secondly, we also have about 500, er you know, um, specific areas that you can go to. Uh, we are even, you know, going to churches and institutions just to make sure that we do this verification, and therefore it is free. Uh, we do know that uh, there are um, customers who have been called by fraudsters and told that, look, you know, we are doing this exercise uh, if, if, you know, they, and they are looking for facilitation, and I just want to advise customers to just say no. Let's use the official channels, which is basically uh, our, our online channels, which is uh, over 200,000 MPESA agents that we have out there, and then the other 500 uh, specific areas where we can do verification. Thank you very much.